Well, I'm in the, the Sally Gardens up in Foglass in West Belfast. I haven't been here actually in years. And uh, a friend of mine asked me would I come along and talk to the youth group here. So I'm glad to do that. I, I, I think it's really important that we listen. And that was a very lively discussion. And that it's good for people like me to be able to come in and hear the concerns and the fears and the hopes and the aspirations. Particularly about young people. We're a very, very educated cadre of, of, of young people through social media, through their interests, the very fact they're involved in a community organisation shows that they're, they're conscious of their environment, about what's happening and what, what they want to see happening. So I've, I always find these engagements very empowering and I want to thank the young people for inviting me and Paul Maskey and Arlie up to come along and talk to me. Yeah, I think it was really important that Jerry took time out of his schedule to come and talk to young people, especially, you know, young people need to have a voice, especially, you know, today when they're, they're, they're given some outlets, but not a lot, you know, they're not really listened to, so mental health was one that they talked about quite a lot, they also talked about Brexit, um, the money coming in out of Stormont, you know, it was all, it was, it was fascinating to hear it, and as a young person myself, I think it's, it's essential that politicians come out to the communities. And I thought Jerry was a lovely person, like he's, he's really, really curious about what you're saying and what you're asking and they'll sit and they really talk through the question that you've asked and you know the best response to that there is no question that was left unanswered properly here tonight and it was just a really it was a really warm person it really did for <laughs> Jerry Adams answered our questions very openly and honestly, and I think that was very, very good from a fake representative. He talked about Brexit and mental health and the storm and collapse. He said he talked about the chances of an executive being restored again and he, the mental health, and they talked about their strategies and how they were putting forward strategies, strategies on mental health and the Brexit campaigns. I think young people are being left behind in our society, and I think Sinn Féin are doing a very good job in making young people's voices heard and putting their voices up at the front line of adult voices as well. And I think Sinn Féin are doing a very good job in that. Delighted to be here tonight and great to see our party leader taking time out of his busy schedule to come and meet with a group of young people from the Colin area. Um, they asked a lot of pressing questions from myself, Jerry and Paul. A lot of big issues raised and questions asked around suicide prevention, Brexit, lowering the voting age amongst others. So the important thing tonight obviously for us is empowering young people, encouraging young people to come along, to get involved in politics, to get involved in local campaigns and to make their voices heard. Really enjoyable night and hope we can do it again. Sinn Féin, Goanonis, Carta August Eintos Naharan, Equality, Rights and Irish Unity.